Welcome everyone to a tutorial, the first tutorial of Neverwinter. Um, in this tutorial we will be going through the character creation along with uh, <clears throat> the basic game tutorial um, in itself since it's a tutorial in a tutorial. So, we will begin. Um, first off, I would like to point out, um, for playing this game, we have some system requirements that do require um, some heavy CPU usage on the game, uh, on your computers while playing the game. Um, so please make sure you check the... Uh, um, system requirements right here to so make sure you can actually play this game. Uh, it's an amazing game and I hope you all can play it. Um, so with that, um, yeah, we will head on to making the first character. So um, as you can see here, I have two characters already made. Um, my main character, Shmoo, and then Magrath. Uh, you can <clears throat> selecting characters and you can spin around and look at what the character looks like and everything. He doesn't have his weapons on him, um, whatnot. Um, you can actually customize in the game as to whether or not you can have his or her uh, helmets appearing. She doesn't actually have one yet. She's too low level. Um, I decided to not have his because the character in my mind didn't have it or he would have just like a facial mask. Um, which they have that option. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, as for right now, we will come over here um, to char new character. I will point out right now, though, um, I have three characters available, character slots. When you start the game free to play without any of it, you have two. That's because I bought the Founders Pack, um, and it gives you an extra character slot. So I'm able to have these two characters, and then a third one, which we will use here now, um, <clears throat> to get into character selection. So I've clicked new character, and now we have the servers, which I have been told, um, by reading the forms and everything in, um, Perfect World and Cryptic's websites and, and Neverwinter's forms and everything that, um, and Q&As actually, uh, that they are going to be merging all three of these eventually. The game was just released live uh, last week, I want to say. Um, so these three will be merged eventually. Um, I'm going to stick with the server that I am on. As you can see here, you have the class type. Well, let's start from the beginning here. You have, you have your, your name, your level, your class type, where you are in the world, um, and then what server you're on. Uh, same thing here. Like I'm in the protected enclave here. I'm in the chasm or the chasm here. So, with that, I'm sure these will probably change to just blank or whatever. But we go new character. I will stick with my other characters in Dragon right now. Um, <clears throat> and you whatever shard you want to be in. And they have the wonderful cutscene, which I am going to skip for the sake of you being able to watch it on your own in your own time and everything. And just sit back and enjoy it. It's a very good, uh, a very cool um, cutscene. So now here we have the first section of the race, of the character creation, of the race selection. You can select from many different races and more to come. Um, if I am correct, this will be Drow after that. And I, I'm assuming they will cre continue creating more care, uh, races as the game grows in popularity and, and they keep going. Um, but for now, we will start off with um, the different races we have here. Um, start off half-orc here. You have half-orc, you have human, you have dwarf, you have elf, halfling, tefling, and half-elf. If you've previously played Dungeons & Dragons, you will know that the half-orc, human, dwarf, halfling, elf, and half-elf are pretty common. They're the standard races. But what was swapped out with the gnome was a tefling. Why they didn't put the gnome in here and they put a halfling, I don't know. Maybe because not a lot of people cared for gnomes. Being a Dungeons & Dragons fan myself and having played for years, 
gnomes really weren't used all that much in my games. Whether I was running them or I was playing them, they weren't really used all that much. So, with that, we can start with the half orc. Um, they come with all the they all have special uh, abilities. Um, you, you, half orcs have the furious um, assault, which critical gets do an extra five percent damage. Your ability scores you get plus two to dexterity, and then you can choose either constitution or strength. It's always plus two. Um, swift charge, um, additional ten bonus. Uh, to run speed for three seconds uh, when you enter combat, you know this effect lasts for or only can you be only used for an additional twenty for twenty sec every twenty seconds. So um, if they have all different abilities. Humans are an exception to this. Um, this uh, your defense is increased by three. Um, they get plus two to any ability. Just they only like they only get one plus two ability score modifier, um, whereas all the other races get a plus two in two different ones. However, you're restricted to only the set ones per each race. So this is constitution, strength, and wisdom. You get constitution, then you get to pick strength or wisdom. We'll get into that more uh, when we get into the ability scores area. Um, but humans, they get one ability score that gets plus two, but you get to pick any ability score you want. So, um, you can go through these. It's very easy just mousing over these to see what they do. Um, uh, elves, high crit ability, uh, strike is plus one, increases your chance by plus one. Uh, you, they get dexterity, and then you get to choose intelligence or wisdom. Um, the halflings are plus two dexterity. You get plus two charisma or plus two constitution. Teflings are uh, charisma or constitution, or charisma and Constitution or Intelligence. Um, and then Half-Elves are Constitution and Charisma or Wisdom. Um, and then they all have their own special abilities here. Um, just take your time making your character and look through these. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to, to just, you know, read it and figure out which ones you want to play the best. Um, a nice feature that they did do in this, they matched your preview, which you can't spin around or anything. They match the preview here with what races are, I guess, the class that would work best with the race. Rogue for a halfling. Teflings and elves are the controlling wizards. The, the half-elf is the cleric. Then the, uh, uh, the, excuse me, the human and the half-orc are uh, great weapon fighters, while the Dwarf is um, the guardian fighter. Um, you can tell just by the silhouettes of the images, their types, except for the Tefling, who's got a blade. Um, whereas control wizards have the orbs. Um, so we're going to just pick... Um, let's see here. We're going for... Yes, we can do a... We'll do an... an uh, oh, I should, should add... Um, can't forget this. You can be male or female. Your preference. I don't have a preference playing male or female. It does not matter to me. Um, I Like I said, I have... Fe oh, you saw it before. I have a female character and a male character. It does not really matter. It's up to you. Personal preference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a... For this demonstration, we're going to do a elf... Um, control wizard for this sake, but um, we will get into that. So, once you have your, your race selected, uh, you just click continue. And then we have the races. Or, excuse me, the classes. The classes here, uh, Tefling, or excuse me, Trickster Rogue, uh, Devoted Cleric, Control Wizard, which is what we'll be playing, the Great Weapon Fighter, and the Guardian Fighter. And then they do have one more coming, I am not sure what it is. The rumors speculate that it will either be a warlock or a ranger. I'm going more towards it's probably going to be a ranger because that would be most fitting as these other classes. This is a melee class. This is a ranged class. This is a ranged class. But this is melee and this is melee. They already have three melee classes. This is actually technically can be ranged because of one ability they have. But you have three melee and two ranged. 
most likely will be another ranged, uh, being a uh, ranger. So, you have the different classes, um, which I will do a uh, future tutorials on each class individually, um, so you can see how they work. Um, but each class individually, you can you can get the just for the character creation purposes of this tutorial, you can get the uh, the basics of what they can do. Now these are just examples of their abilities down here. They have many, many more. Um, and you can mouse over them again and they will give you the description of what they can do. So you can read through these and figure out which one you think would be the best um, for for what you your style of, of gameplay. Um, you want a tank, you want the Guardian. I would strongly recommend the Guardian Fighter. Um, the uh, You want a healer, ranged healer, um, I would you know, obviously go with the cleric. You want your your mage damage dealer. You can go to the troll wizard. You want some guy who, or girl who's gonna sit there just dealing amounts of massive amounts of damage and doing some crowd control stuff. I would definitely recommend the great weapon fighter. And if you want a kind of a more balanced, can do area effect crowd control a little bit. Can do massive damage one on one, or can just sit there stealth in the background, completely and utterly annihilating from a distance with her throwing daggers or getting behind the enemies and sneak attacking them and completely and utterly just annihilating them. As my main character is a rogue, um, and I can say they are quite amazing. Um, to get into this though, we have the control wizard. They have Arcana. The, uh, it collects magic items to sell and you can interact with magical items. Um, it, it's something we'll get into in the future with um, what are called kits. Uh, and only certain classes can open certain kits without um, using their skills of their class without having to have an actual kit in their inventory of that specific um, class. Um, Arcane Singularity is actually one of the abilities. It's a daily ability, which I will get into abilities in another tutorial. Or powers, excuse me. Uh, and then the Chill Strike, which is an, an encounter power. Um, this is a daily, like I said, this is an encounter. Um, and then we have the at wills, um, which at wills tend to be your main powers, your left and right mouse buttons. Um, Q, E, and R are your encounters, and 1 and 2 is your dailies. And then tab is your uh, special power, um, which is you get at level 10. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so we will continue on with the game, uh, character creation. We can continue. Now we have the ability score. Ability score is pretty much randomly rolled. However, it is randomly rolled with a chart. Um, there is a, a list of a number of already pre-made combos for these that it randomly rolls between. So if I re-roll this, it'll keep rolling through, through this chart. And this chart, it'll, it'll pick one of them. And so you try to get what thing, what, what would be the best for you. Well, with that, each class has its own strengths. So with the controlling wizard, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma are their strengths. Well, for the control wizard, intelligence is the primary, where the secondaries is wisdom and charisma. So you got... Your three stats here that you want to have the best, the highest you can possibly have. Now these still do matter, as this one is your physical strength, um, your constitution, your health, your stamina, um, your ability to dodge, um, and your vital force, uh, your dexterity, hand-eye coordination, agility, reflexes, balance, that those kind of things. Um, your so we want to make sure that your plus two. Um, which, actually, for this race, is either my intelligence or my wisdom. And then dexterity is automatically plus two. Um, so, we have the, the plus two uh, dexterity automatically. We have the intelligence or the wisdom. Now, seeing as intelligence is my ultimate, um, we're going to... My primary ability, I score, I want the highest. Uh, I'm going to pick it to be intelligence for my modifier. You can see the little plus two right there. 
So I'm gonna keep re-rolling this until I think I have the best stats. Let's see what I can get here out of out of that that chart over here, uh, and we will see. So now I'm gonna get a 20, but my constitution is eight. So that means my health is gonna be low. I'm gonna be pretty much a glass cannon. So I can I can dish out the damage, but I won't be able to take it all that much. Now for the way I play, I don't feel comfortable with that. So now we have a above 10, which is what I like to play as. And then a 19. One less. Two higher. That's, that's good. Let's see what else there is in here, though. I mean, obviously we have the chart. Um, but it seems like this is going to be the best bet. So we'll continue. So then we get into the customization. You have these presets here. All different kinds of presets. How are you know, they want them to look. Which you can, if you just look to quickly get through the, the creation, you can just pick one and go. Um, and I, I'm picky about what my characters look like because I'm going to be staring at them the, the, through the whole game, you know. I'm going to be third person game, you're going to be watching them the whole time. So I like to, f to figure out what my character's like, you know, and, and I'm going to want them to look how I prefer them to look, you know. Or if I want to go goofy, I can go goofy. If I want to go serious and whatnot, I can go serious and whatnot. If I, I can do whatever I want. So you got all these presets here. Um... You can see them with their armor or without their armor. It's helpful when... Without armor, it's helpful when you're trying to sculpt the body to get exactly how you want it. Um, then, But one of the main part of this that I'm trying to focus on here is the customize button right here. Yeah, granted, you can, you, know, you can pan around. Pan around them. You can zoom in. Excuse me, zoom in. I hit the right buttons. You can zoom out. And then you can customize. This is the button we want. So customizing it starts off with hair. That's what it defaults at. Which uh, you can flip through the hairs and you can be bald. You can be all, all different kinds of hair here. Um, I'm using my mouse wheel right now to scroll up and down it. Or you can just drag this. Click and drag. Uh, but lots of different hairs. It, it can be as picky as you want. But what we first want to do is go to the head shape here. So we have nine different head shapes. And if we zoom into the head, which you can also use the mouse wheel for, or you can click the buttons, is the different shapes of the head. Now these, this matters to a point. Um, you have face scaling right here, which we'll get to, which allows you to customize it even more. So, being an elf, I'm going to go for a more... long face, we'll say. Uh, yeah, long face. Okay, so then we have the hair. Which, I'm kind of liking the hair, but let's see what else we got here. Uh, straight up mohawk. Mohawk, that's curved. Um, short mohawk, I'm um, getting obsessed with mohawks, ponytails, you, know, you name it, you can, you can just flip through these and, and figure out what you want. Um, uh, we're going to go back to that one I had. This one right here, the, the, fo the faux hawk. I don't know why, but we're just going to do it. And then you can, uh, right below that is your color. Whatever color you want the hair to be. Uh, you just mouse over it and it automatically changes. And let's see... I don't know what color. Uh, we'll just do... Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, no, no. We're, we're going to go, like, elven. We'll stick with a blonde. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so then we go to the eyes. And you just keep going down the list. Um, and we can have normal, blind, one blind eye, left or right. We can have hurt eyes, left or right hurt eyes. Um, and then you can change the color again. Same thing. Um, I'd say more Elvin's gonna have very bright eyes. We could just go with, yeah, we'll go bright blue again. We'll go bright blue again. We'll go with bright blue. Um, I'm just gonna go with natural. Um, nice little feature here. Okay, I didn't want, I, I didn't want hurt eyes. Well, I can undo this and it'll go back to natural eyes, or I can redo this. Do I want to go back to hurt eyes? So if you accidentally make a mistake and you forget which one you were on, you can always hit the undo button. So next, we have the eyebrows. I only get three choices. Not that big of a deal. Um, I'm just going to go fine. 
Not not much. Let's change the, change the color if you want it to differently than what you have. Uh, I'm going to stick to be the same. Complexion. You could have cute all the way to elderly. Now, old, ragged, pretty, mature, rough. I don't know what I'm... I mean, it, it's completely up to you. You could, you could be some old wizard. A lot of experience and whatnot. Um... And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go with fair. We'll go with fair. Okay, uh, tattoos. I know she just has makeup on. Light makeup, makeup, heavy makeup. Um, lots of different, I mean, you you name it, Black Raven, it's here. All different kinds of stuff you can choose from here. Um, let's see. Two-Face even see that oh we could change let's change it so you can see it better uh, I guess her skin complexion white will work um I don't even know if I'm gonna have any makeup on her or anything on her but um none lots of different things you can choose from uh, you choose it you know this really is just you know obviously just appearance it has nothing to do with actual gameplay um, it means nothing really um, ooh, I kind of like that but I'm going to change the color here to Let's see here a red no, I'm going to go with that okay so we got that and now we can go to scars you can choose if you want a scar burn I'm going to guess scar actual scars you know Different scars, same thing as, as the tattoos, just limited, less. Um, I'm going to go with none for this one. But then we get into the deeper stuff, the face scaling, where we had the, sh the, the head shapes here. All right, you could choose different head shapes presets, or you can go to the face scaling, and you can completely customize. Like, I was hoping to have her f head to be a little bit more narrow um, and a little bit more taller. Uh... Get the neck length, a little bit up there. Um, eye size, eye size is good. Um, my height's good. Eye spacing's good. The brow width. Um, all these different settings you can change. I don't, I don't know much more. I want to change um, in this. Um, you change it to, I mean. There's lots of different settings you can change in here, obviously. So, you have different things you can change. Um, see about the nose a little bit here. Nostril size, reduce that a little. Um, nostril height, I have to go to right there. The length. The length we'll put sideways here. And we can shrink that nose down. I'm going to grab this and actually drag it here, because you can use the arrows or you can drag. And if you can see, the nose moves in and out a little bit. And I like my nose is smaller. It's just how I prefer them. Not really that picky. I like I'm going to date this girl. She's just a computerized character. so. Um, but sure, why not? I'll go with that. Small little elven nose. You can even change jaw and cheek size. Actually, we're going to lower that cheek size a little bit, I think. Okay. Um, and the jaw width. Bring that in a little bit. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here because we're going to get into the next thing, which is the body shape. You can be slim. For this, we'll tear in the armor off for this, actually. You can be slim. You can be heavy. Or you can be default. Completely up to you. Now, these are the presets just like the head shape presets. With the body scaling, head shape, body shape. Face scaling. Then we get into the body scaling. You got breast size, nail length, shoulder length, all these different features. You can zoom in partly here. If we turn it sideways here, you can see the nails here. We're going to extend these nails, and you can see them getting all pointy. That's how detailed they've gotten in this. It's it's very, very nice, actually. Um, you got your breast size, even. You know, you're small, large, up to you, whatever. You, your own personal taste. Um, shoulder width, you know... Personally, I think I think she's fine the way she is. Um, so I'm not really going to change much on that. Uh, I think the only thing I notice that I'm going to change is the hand thickness here. A little thinner hands. She's an elf, after all. Um, and the hand length. 
would be eh, that was about good. So, um, oh, and one thing that I leg length a little bit, a little bit less leg length, uh, and a little bulky. There we go. Now, I should should be good. I think I think we're a good good character here. Let's put our armor back on for us. Yeah, I think we got a good character going on here. So we got that set up. All right. So we had the head, the hair, eyes, eyebrows, complexion, tattoo scarring, and scaling, and sh body shape, and then more scaling. Got all that, right? Okay, so the next... We have your background. Now your background really has nothing to do with the gameplay. It even tells you right here. Each selection is for flavor and has no effect on gameplay. I'm not sure. I think it would be really cool if eventually they did make it so that whatever god you chose, or deity, excuse me, what deity you chose, reflected what you got for um, when you would worship one, which I will get into later. You have to be a certain level to get to that. Um, in another tutorial, we'll learn more about worshipping your deity and getting hourly, uh, well, rewards. So, it doesn't matter what you pick in this. Um, let's see, which one's the elven god? I always say the elven race here. Which is that for the god, and then where you live does not matter at all, really. Um, could be from... You know, for this sake, we'll be from Neverwinter. It's our home. Now down here, you have the description, but you can also pick your background. This little bottom paragraph here will change as you go with this. You know, your, your initiative of the faith, your uh, militia defender, your seeker of knowledge. Um, I think I'm going to go seeker of knowledge for this one. Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to seeker of knowledge of this one. Not that it actually matters. Like I said, this is this is just does no effect on gameplay, but it's just kind of cool if you want to start doing some role playing with your characters, uh, with your friends and everything. It's, it's a lot of fun to do sometimes. Um, it really gets you into the game. So um, that's very simple. You pick your deity, you pick your, your where you're from, you pick your background, uh, and you continue. Now you have the overview. You got your controlling wizard. What what's your cl class? You got your race, your wood elf. Uh, it's kind of your standard elf. Um, your ability scores, which you know we've already been over. Um, get in your background, and then you can actually even type in here what you want. Your back, if you want to type in your own biography. Um, let's say here uh, on a search for knowledge and power to defeat ah, if I could type the evil in the world and save my hole. Sure. You can change that anytime uh, in the game. And then you have down here your character name. You can either click in here and type whatever you want Celestial... Celestria. Sure. Um, or you can come over here and hit random. That's a long name. And they, they have... Wow. Uh, that's right. I forgot how long elven names are. Um, and you can just, you know, keep flipping through to see something if you like. Or you can type in your own name. Um, sure. That actually sounds pretty cool. Uh, Leah Darkspain. That'll be her name. Um, once you have that set, you click Begin Adventure. Level 1. Congratulations. Get your orb. Now it will... Have a wonderful little loading screen here. And we should have a little cutscene again. Which, again, I'm going to let you watch on your own.